following 2021 mock drafts for the Detroit Lions has been a roller coaster this offseason and we're only a month into the process. After the 2021 National Championship, three players were routinely paired with the Lions and the number 7 overall pick, Devonda Smith wide receiver, Alabama, Micah Parsons linebacker, Penn State, and Jalen Waddell wide receiver, Alabama. Then Matthew Stafford requested to be traded and the mock drafts that followed saw a shift to almost exclusively quarterbacks, including Justin Fields, Ohio State, Zach Wilson, BYU, and Trey Lance, North Dakota State. Now that the Lions have traded Stafford to the LA Rams in exchange for draft picks and Jared Goff, the presumed starter for at least 2021, things have opened back up in the mock draft market for the Lions. Let's take a look at what has happened over the past week, starting with some of the new names. New names added this week Jamar Chase, WR, LSU Zierling, the Lions could go in a number of directions here, including cornerback or linebacker, but with almost an entire receiving core set to hit free agency, Chase could serve as a splashy WR1 for their new QB. Penne Sewell, T, Oregon Trapasso, new Lions GM Brad Holmes spent the past few years with the Rams when Andrew Whitworth's impact at left tackle was gigantic. Holmes has that in mind when picking Sewell for Jared Goff. Rashawn Slater, T. G., Northwestern Kelly, the Lions just completed a blockbuster trade, sending longtime quarterback Matthew Stafford to the Rams in exchange for a pair of future first-round picks, a 2021 third-rounder, and Jared Goff. The move gives Detroit the chance to hit the reset button and build a new foundation from the ground up. Bolstering the offensive line with Slater, a day-one starter at either tackle or guard, is a nice way to get things started as the team seeks to establish a new identity. Making a strong return Devona Smith, WR, Alabama Marino, it's another new era in Detroit. Suddenly, Jared Goff is the starting quarterback, Dan Campbell is the head coach, and a host of ex-players are filling up his coaching staff. While there are plenty of questions about the roster, perhaps the most notable concern is what the plan is at wide receiver where Quintus Cephas, Victor Bolden, and Geronimo Allison are the only options under contract. Devona Smith is the most productive receiver in Crimson Tide history and is exceptional at getting open and catching the football, the two most important functions of playing receiver. Simmons is on the same level as recent top 10 linebackers Roquan Smith and Devin White. He's a foundation piece for a team that desperately needs them. Still being projected to Detroit Zach Wilson, QB, BYU Easterling, yes, the Lions just acquired Jared Goff from the Rams, absorbing the rest of his massive contract extension. But that shouldn't keep the new decision makers in Detroit from passing on a franchise passer with this pick. Wilson had a stellar 2020 campaign, showing off all the traits of a future pro bowler. Trey Lance, QB, North Dakota State Lindsay, the Lions took back Jared Goff as part of the Matthew Stafford trade, but it's unlikely that he is the Lions' preferred long-term answer at the quarterback position. At the very least, he isn't a reason to avoid taking a quarterback like Lance here in the draft. There is legitimate concern surrounding Lance's accuracy and experience, especially since he's played just one season as a starter in the FCS, but he also has absurd arm talent and gives any team the option to lean on him in the running game. It's a bet worth taking for Detroit as they look toward life without Stafford. Out of the mix this week Justin Fields, QB, Ohio State Fields was off the board by the time